Hi everyone, it's Tina here and it is a couple of minutes past two. Sorry, I keep looking down at my nail there. Um, and I wanted to come and talk to you today about the stages of business so that it would help you to see what stage you're in and also what the focus should be of that stage. Okay. Hi, Claudia. Oh, hi, Linda. Oh my goodness, I've got a fly that's flying around here. So um, this live is going to be short and sweet because I have a wedding to go to and I have to leave in 25 minutes. So I'm half dressed and half, half not, got the face on. So one of the things that's really um, difficult for people in business, myself included, is to know what to focus on. And we've been having big discussions about this, um, not just with my private clients, but the girls in my Solar Line Mastermind. Oh, thank you, Linda. Thank you. Um, and it's about the fact that there's always a lot to do. So where do you put your time and attention for the best results? Because our businesses are supposed to support our life. Our life is not supposed to be sacrificed for our business, and yet that's a very common story that people are constantly busy, they're stressed out, they start to resent their business, sometimes they resent their clients and they're just about burnt out with not enough to show for that burnout, right? So we want to avoid burnout altogether. So today I want to sh uh, share with you like four stages of business and then what is the key thing to do in that stage? Because what people tend to do, and if you've got any questions, just ask, guys. Um, what people tend to do is that they just dump all of these activities down and then they go from the top of the list and they work their way down. Please don't do that because not all tasks are important and not all tasks are created equal, okay? So if you are going to do a brain dump, have a look at those things that have the highest impact and are most aligned to your goals, okay? So please don't do the brain dump and then just go tick, 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 tick. Um, first of all, that's going to wear you out. By the time you even get halfway to through your list, there's new things coming up from the bottom of the list and you will never get to the end of it. And if you're not focusing on the key areas that you need to be, you're never going to move to the next stage of your business, okay? So having said that, here are the stages. So the first one's dreaming, and I'll say the four of them and then I'll go back and tell you about each one. Maybe you could recognize yourself in that stage. And then, hi, Cara, I hope you're feeling a bit better today with all of the emotional things that have been going on for you. I'm going to go through the four stages and then um, share with you what the maximum um, effectiveness is for that area and what the key focus point should be, okay? So I've taken a couple of notes as well because I tend to go off track and I'm on a limited time here going to the wedding in a minute. So the first one is the dreaming phase. The second one is the doing phase. The third one is the flowing phase and the fourth one is the growing phase, okay? So if you have questions, write them down. And if I don't get to get to them now, I'll come back to it, okay? So the dreaming phase is where you're birthing all of these new ideas, what the overall business is going to be, how you could possibly combine all the gifts and skills that you have into a business. And this phase, you know you're in this phase if you're not making very much income or any income and you have no consistency. So you're not really showing up. You're spending a lot of time marinating and creating. So that's the doing phase, okay? And in this phase, if you're currently in this phase now, the key focus area is to take action as consistently as possible every day to connect with potential audience and clients. Okay, so in, in a Facebook group setting, it would be to show up, do intros, share um, information, etc. If it's offline, it would be, um, you know, maybe emailing some great content or um, looking at going to networking events. So you, 
the focus in the dreaming phase is to consistently as much as possible start to uh, reach out to potential audience and client members okay so that should be your main focus it's taking action every day in the dreaming phase that phase is characterized sorry in the doing phase I've just talked about the dreaming phase the doing phase is where you are between zero and five thousand dollars a month okay and in this phase you're taking lots of action okay and there's lots of to do's and every time you to do that it breeds and reproduces more to do's okay so this is this really busy time when you're starting to get income, but it's still very unpredictable. So there's a roller coaster happening. So you're really happy when you get a new client um, or a you know your program or your workshop goes well, and then you're really despondent when you don't get any clients and there's none on the horizon or your workshop doesn't fill. Okay, so so far I've done the dreaming and the doing. Can any of you recognize yourself in one of those stages? Okay, now I'm going to share with you what you should be focusing on in the doing phase because it's a very busy phase. But drop in the comments whether you're in the dreaming phase or the doing phase, and maybe you've passed that. Okay, and I'll share the next ones with you in a minute. So drop those in the comments and let me have a look. All right, so in the doing phase, you're doing lots of things, but you're still not sure what's working. Some things are working, some things are not. So it's that real up and down roller coaster. You're earning between some months nothing, but you know, up to say $5,000 a month, but it's very random, okay? Kara in the dreaming, yeah. Um, how long each phase lasts is a great question, and it's directly proportionate to whether you're focusing on the key areas that I'm sharing with you or not. Some people never get to the next phase and that's why they give up and either stay in that phase and just go, you know what, this is just the phase, or they give up and they go back to a consistent income, which is a job. And there's nothing wrong with that either, okay? But if you don't wanna go back to a job, then you need to focus on these key areas that I'm sharing. So in the dreaming phase, it's consistently reaching out to potential audience and potential client members okay so you take that dream and you start telling people about the dream and that's how you find out whether people are aligned to your dream so you can't just dream away in the doing phase this is the focus so in the doing phase the focus where am I where did I put my is to um, show up and do your research okay so if you're wanting to get up to five thousand dollars but it's sort of random you really need to know what people want okay so this is the phase where you are really not just talking to audience members and sharing stuff but you're actually researching with them okay so you're doing interviews you're um, looking at the questions people ask in Facebook groups particularly if you have your own Facebook group and this is one of the strategies I recommend to most of my business clients, not all, because Facebook group strategy is a medium term strategy, okay? It is not an instant income strategy, but it does fit a lot of businesses, particularly coaching, where you can start your own Facebook group and invite those people that really want to hear from you, okay? So you don't sort of have to go out as much. But in the doing phase, you are constantly showing up, sharing content, and actually connecting with people and researching with them, interviewing them, talking to them one-on-one, -on -one, um, and sharing what you're doing so that your products and services that are randomly selling become more consistent because you get the languaging from them and you're filling the gaps that they need, okay? That's the doing phase. The flow phase is when you're between $5,000 and, say, $20,000 a month. Now, in the flow phase, you're starting to become known for what you do. You, are, you usually have at least one, possibly two, like signature processes, either like signature coaching packages or signature um, 
courses or programs that are selling consistently in this phase, okay? So 5,000 to say 20,000, you have at least one signature process or program that you know how to sell really well. And this is how you make that income leap sort of from randomness through that market research, you have now developed this course or this coaching program or this um, online experience or offline experience that you know people want because of the research. So instead of having random $5,000 or $1,000 or whatever, you are now at that consistent $5,000 up to say $20,000, okay? I'll just check this for a sec for questions. So I am in the doing phase and you are in the doing phase, Claudia, since I'm researching my clients. Yes. Oh, that C word consistency. Yeah. So in this flow phase, as I said, you've got the consistent income and what's just as important is that the money, the mindset and the mood, that means your emotions, instead of being on that roller coaster, you are now more strategic and you're not as emotionally invested because you're taking a step back and looking at the bigger picture of your business, okay? So even though you still love your business, instead of being really high when um, things go well and really down in the dumps when things go badly, you are now um, having those systems in place and some automation so that you're not feeling the bumps as much, right? Is this making sense? So in this phase, you also might start to hire your one or two team members, okay, your first lot of team members in this so that it frees you up to do the really important tasks in your business and the um, repeatable systematic tasks you can then give to your VA or maybe you hire your first person to run your Facebook ads for you instead of you doing it. So you're starting to get a few team members in this $5,000 to $20,000 bracket, okay? And in here, now you're starting to think, well, how am I going to leap up to, to the bigger picture here? And this is my phase that I'm in at the moment, okay? I'm in the flow phase. And I am now starting to hire extra team members to try and leverage into the next gap, all right? So in this flow phase, the focus is to leverage, so to stop really going from one-on-ones as much, you can still do one-on-ones, but just not as much as you were, and then opening up to more people either in um, group programs, workshops, etc. because that's how you can expand your income without having to expand your time because your time is fixed, and if you're continually doing one-on-one, -on -one, then your income is fixed, okay? Does that make sense to everyone? So in the flow phase, it's leveraging. And I have two really high support, um, customized signature programs, and that's how I make the bulk of my income. And then intermittently, I open up spots for private coaching. And I love that mix because I still have that energy to really focus on a private client, but I also have that energy and time for specific programs that are, um, allow me to leverage. And they're more expensive, but that's because they're also, um, they deliver really high results. And I only could get that when I did my market research in my doing phase, okay? And finally, the last phase is the growing phase. And this is anywhere from, say, $30,000 upwards. Um, there are people who, who have done this growing phase really, really well. And, you know, they make $100,000, $200,000, dollars a month, okay, which to my brain at the moment is like, holy crap, which is probably why I haven't taken that leap yet either because I'm not ready. I haven't grown into that person that goes, yeah, 500000 or 100000 a month. I can do that, okay? So I'm not there yet because I still need to get my scaling systems in place and also my mindset, my mood and my money 
consistent, all of that stuff consistent to me, okay, if that makes sense. All right, so in this phase, you know that you're in this phase, and as I said, I'm not in this one yet, and that's the one I'm focusing on. Um, you are actually known as an industry leader or one of the industry leaders, okay? And this takes a big leap of personal growth as well. So you might be doing things like you've written a book and, you're, and you do book tours or you talk about your book. You might have a course um, based on your book. It might be a TEDx talk. It might be speaking on stage in a summit, or like virtually or on stage. But your, your um, business now becomes more of a legacy and this um, growth phase is about massive scaling. So you have a full-blown team. So you rock up and do what your zone of genius is and you have everyone else to do the other stuff for you. And this is where you heavily invest back into your business because you're paying a team and your market, because you want to go more global, you put a lot of funds into your marketing, okay? Um, so people might make 500000 in a launch, but they, they could have done like $200,000 worth of marketing, all right? But, you know, that's still healthy profit. So has anyone got any questions around those four um, areas, okay? <laughs> yeah, red lips, Julia. So I'll need to dive off in a minute, but what we've just covered is the four phases of business. The dreaming phase, where you're not really making any income, but you're just really excited and in love with the idea of your business and the potential and the possibilities of it. And in this phase, you really need to focus on um, taking action. Instead of dreaming, take action to start to get yourself out there, do a little bit of listening, do a little bit of talking to people. So to get out of that dream phase and take action on anything that moves you forward and connects you to people. Then the doing phase is between zero money and $5,000. And this is where you are taking action and your to-do list is massive, right? So this is a very steep learning curve. Uh, it's also about you starting to do one-on-one -on -one work and really doing market research and seeing what people really want and starting to develop like a really nice process one-on-one -on -one with people or one to, to a small amount of people, okay? The next phase is the flow phase, which is between, say, um, $5,000 and $25,000 a month or twenty, doesn't matter. And this is where you've worked out from the research what people want and you have one, at least one sort of signature process or one sort of signature program which you can launch and repeat and you're still supplementing with some one-on-one -on -one work and you're getting that consistent income every month because you have your systems in place and you have an income and profit plan and you know exactly what you're going to do to make that money, right? And then the last phase is the uh, grow phase. And this is between, you know, 25000 to X amount. It just depends on your business model, what you're sort of selling and what your um, focus is. But in this phase, you've hired out the whole team of people. So you can show up and do what you do best. And it's about you becoming an expert and industry leader through uh, speaking engagements through being like a guest of somebody's like retreats or maybe you do a book tour. So it's really now not just about, okay, now I've got it's this massive income. It's about the legacy. It's about um, you being the face of your brand, rocking up and doing what you do best and having all the people around you. So um, I hope that's helpful to you. And you know, the focus in each phase. So focus one is putting some action to the dreams, okay? And mainly that is getting out and about and just sharing your dream with people and sort of sussing that out. The second phase of doing is really the, the focus of that one is to connect with the audience in really um, meaningful ways. So giving value to them but really talking to them one-on-one -on -one or in an interview situation so you can start to get out of that random income, what worked, what didn't, I don't know. That's what the market research is for. It fills the gaps in. Then in the flow phase, 
you make a signature program or a product suite from that research. So then you've got that consistent income every month. You know people want it because you've interviewed them and you're getting that nice consistency between 5000 and say twenty twenty five thousand dollars a month and finally the uh, the grow phase is when you are now recognized as an authority and one of the industry leaders through your book through your speaking um, or uh, perhaps like a TED talk or something like that maybe you've been interviewed on TV whatever it is now it's about hiring out and building out your business so that you can rock up and be that speaker or be that mentor or be that teacher and um, to be able to scale out a lot bigger than you are now. So I hope those focus points help. Give me a little smiley face in the chat if, if that has helped you. Either establish and clarify which phase you're in and also what's the main focus point for each of those so that you can then transition far more quickly and far more easily into um, the next phase if that's where you want to go you don't have to go to the next phase if you're happy and your business is supporting your lifestyle your dreams and your goals you might like to just stay in the doing phase and have it more of a part-time thing you might like to just stay in the flow phase um, where you're making consistent income and that income is enough for you okay uh, the only phase I wouldn't suggest that you stay in is the dream phase because then what happens is that you doubt yourself, you're not making any money and it can be really hard mentally and emotionally on you. Okay, so pop a little smiley face in if that was helpful. Um, and if you have any questions about like which phase you're in and any other questions around what to focus on in that phase and how to move to the next phase, just pop them in here and I will come back sometime across um, the weekend and I'll answer those questions for you. But whichever phase you're in, just know that one of the main things that you will need at any phase, and I don't care which phase you're in, it's new level, new devil. If you're waiting for things to be perfect, or for um, for you to not have much really to do, like, oh, once this is finished, it'll all be easy. Please don't do that. It won't be, um, it won't slow down in some ways, but what it does do is that your focus becomes clearer and that your system start to take the heavy lifting for you and that um, things become more consistent. And so the two things you need to remember is focus on the key area until it's done and do it consistently. And if you do that, you, you more quickly, more simply and more sustainably flow into the next phase of your business. Okay? Beautiful. Hello, Veronica. Great. All right, well, I've got to go because I've got a wedding to go to. But if you have any questions just um, pop them in here and you can tag me as well and I will come back sometime across the weekend um, just to answer those questions or maybe Monday as you know that my weekends and my family time are very sacred to me. So um, I shall see you a bit later and have a beautiful weekend wherever you are in the world and I will be touching base and reconnecting with you very soon. Blessings to you all. Keep shining your light bright and I will talk to you again very soon. Ciao, guys.